Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers and I am back with Jesse James Beads today. They have these new window box bead mixes at Walmart and um, it's got pretty much everything in here you need to make a project. All you need to do is add wire or stringing material and some crimps um, and uh, little findings. But they have beads, metal, clasps, and dangles in here, some uh, tassels. So let's jump in. We're gonna make a fun and easy project today. This is the emerald mix. Just gonna dump it out. What I like about these is everything in the box um, to make, you have everything in one box to make a few pairs of, of earrings or a few pieces of jewelry. So oh, look at this, that's a fun little bead. This is an acrylic bead, nice coin. We've got some beautiful crystals, two clasps, one in silver, one in gold in this box, some tassels, metal beads, um, and oh, look, little tiny birdies. Um, yeah, we've got some great things. So let's get started. Uh, I am going to, I'm gonna make a bracelet using the toggles and um, let's get some, let's get some beads going here. So I'm going to take this as the focal cause I just love, love, love it. Um, I like these and just in case you didn't notice there is some information on the back and that there's a cute little project that can be made um, with items from your stash um, but there's a bunch here for you to make with and we'll probably use these for some earrings because they're so gorgeous so I'm just going to arrange some of the beads in the mix. I'm gonna do mixed metal on this. But I like that they supply gold and silver in this mix. All right, I've cut a piece of 24 gauge wire in approximately 18 to 20 inches. Um, what I'm gonna do is grab my um, toggle and I'm gonna slide that to the middle of my wire. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a wire wrapped loop uh, to secure that in place. So I am just going to take my pliers and you can start the wire wrap loop before you slide on the toggle, but it's not, I mean, either way, you can um, get that on there. And then we just wanna click that toggle in place. Gonna make that a little bit smaller, there we go. And I'm gonna hold that loop while I wrap my wire around itself just a couple times, just enough so that my clasp isn't moving around. Okay, and then I am going to bring my two wires together, come down to this end, and I'm just gonna string everything on to my two wires. So I'm gonna start with this gold bead and I hope everything will fit two wires, but these smaller beads might not. Nope, they've worked perfectly fine. So we've got these elongated bicones. And I'm just going to string everything on. Now that I have everything strung on, I'm gonna wire wrap on the other end of my toggle. So I'm gonna bend my wire over my pliers, reposition my pliers above that bend, and then bend back over. And then I'm gonna swing the wire to the back here. So we have a loop, but before I close that, we're going to thread on my little toggle. and settle that into 
the loop. There we go. We'll hold these loops together and wire wrap this closed so our toggle doesn't move. And we can hold this with our fingers because those pliers were getting away a little bit. The 24 gauge is pretty malleable. And then I am just going to snip my wires once uh, I have enough of a wrap. And tuck those little ends in. And then we have a bracelet that looks kind of like a bangle. And it's malleable enough, but it'll hold its shape while you're wearing it. Isn't that super duper cute? I love that metal bead. We're just gonna make a quick pair of earrings too. We have some ball head pins. I'm gonna take this square crystal. I think we'll take this spacer, this flower crystal, and then, and then this teardrop. And I'm just gonna do a wire wrap loop and you'll have a five minute pair of earrings. Or you can do a simple loop, which would be even easier on your fingers, um, depending on the gauge of your wire. So I'm gonna hold that loop in place, take my other pliers, and bring the tail around the loop until everything is locked in place. And then we'll snip that tail. There we go. That's a cute little earring that'll go with just about everything. And then we have tons of beads left. You can create a necklace, you can create an, another pair of earrings, or even another bracelet. Um, and then I will put an ear wire on, and then we will just add that earring to an ear wire. You have a cute, timeless pair of earrings. Now, one side is coated with like a blue green metallic, and one side is more smoky gray. If you like the smoky gray side more, just put that as the outward facing um, bead outward facing part of the bead. So I had a ton of fun with this mix and um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks to Jesse James Beads for having me back and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hi. You are so cute. Oh, okay. Go back to sleep.